In our discussions of systems thinking, there's a critical fact that we haven't touched on yet. And that is to be able to work with systems, you need to be able to recognize them. Systems thinking is oriented to the long-term view, and generally we get caught up in the hubbub of the day-to-day, -day, and uh, it's easy for us to miss the operation of the system. Like the parable of the uh, boiled frog, who by the time they discover the heat of the pot is increasing, it's too late for them to escape. Uh, feedback and time delays are what structure uh, a system and provide, if you will, its enduring status quo. And these operate over, again, long periods of time. If we're unaware of how a system operates, if we don't learn to see the system, then we end up being prisoners of the system and operating uh, buffeted around by the forces of the system. If we learn to see the system, though, we can work uh, and take advantage of the forces of the system, turn them to our advantage, and we can learn to recognize the leverage, leverage points in the system if we want to do something to affect change within the system. In learning to see systems, there is a huge aid um, that comes from uh, recurring fundamental systems. There are certain systems that are recur in all kinds of industries and all kinds of disciplines, and these generic structures have uh, come to be known as uh, system archetypes. Uh, Peter Senge, one of the uh, thought leaders we commonly reference, um, says that only when um, uh, we learn to think in terms of system archetypes can we really operate uh, in, a, in a way that makes system thinking an effective agency uh, for management. So between now and the run-up towards the end of the year, um, we're going to, uh, week to week, talk about a, a systems archetypes and how you can learn to recognize them and thereby give you insight into the systems uh, within which you operate on a day-to-day -day basis.